guys so today I thought I'd share with you how to get some super curly um, hair and I've always been a fan of Kimberly from Little Big Town um, I'm not sure if you know who I'm talking about but she has just the most amazing curly hair and I have the exact opposite um, so I decided to purchase uh, the Lee Stafford chopstick curler um, and I've used it once and I was pretty impressed with the results. So you're gonna get some big hair. Um, but what's nice is it comes with a tip on the end so you make sure you don't burn your fingertips as you're curling. And um, it also comes with a glove, which you must wear because you will burn yourself if you don't use it. Um, I've tried to skip around that a few times and find out the hard way that I shouldn't do that. So anyways, um, so what I did to my hair today is I took a shower. I know a lot of people debate on whether or not to curl clean hair or dirty hair. And to be honest, I don't think it really matters. I've done hair for years and I honestly can't feel like there's a certain way one way or another. You know your hair better and how it works. Um, I prefer working with dry or not dry, <laughs> clean hair. Um, so yeah. Anyways, after I got out of the shower, I used, um, I'm using all milkshake products today. I use the Integrity um, Incredible Oil by Milkshake. It comes in this little bottle. This stuff is amazing. It will make your hair feel like silk, um, but it's gonna protect your hair from the heat. And then I also used a little bit of the Milkshake um, Lifestyling Smoothing Cream. Um, this is just gonna help give you, your hair a little bit of hold and again, has some protectant um, with it. So just a couple squirts of that, run it through, and then I just um, round brushed it. And this is where we're at. <laughs> So, um, to begin, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take sections starting in the back of my hair. Something probably about that. And here we go. So, my hair is really layered towards the top and I've kinda got a mullet effect going on right now because I've been trying to grow my hair out. So I know my back is longer. So I'm gonna try to get tighter curls underneath with mine just so I can try to get it so it's all kind of length, the same same length and not some long ones and short ones here. Um, but that's just my hair. So I'm gonna take, I don't know, section probably about that big. And I'm wrapping this really tightly together. And just hold it for about five seconds. And there you have it. <laughs> that is curly. I'm gonna go to the next one. And with direction, um, I like to switch it up because that way it kind of gives it just a little bit more texture. Um, and I think as you kind of brush it out with your fingers at the end a little bit, I think it gives a little more um, body and it doesn't all just kind of sink into the same wave. Um, but that's again, just preference. You gotta kind of try it out and figure out what works best for you. And you can see why you need these gloves because you got to get real close to the wand to get those ends. And you don't want to burn yourself because these get pretty darn hot. So I know this is looking kind of crazy so far, <laughs> but hang in there with me. It'll, it'll be fun. Now I'm going to start grabbing a little bit bigger chunks now. I just wanted that underneath section to be a little bit tighter. And I'm going to wrap these going a little bit more. You can see it, it's spaced more around the rod instead of real close together. And that's just going to make these so they're not quite as tight. You can see how tight these are compared to these. So now that I have uh, the back half done, I'm just gonna take another section and this time it's gonna be kind of more around the front of the face. And now this one I'm going to wrap towards me. I guess I just kind of keep, keep different directions going to give it some texture. And depending on um, your hair texture, it really does not take too long 
um, to hold on there. And another thing too, the bigger, more of an afro look that you want, um, I would suggest grabbing smaller sections and again, rotating opposite ways as you curl um, and that's gonna make your hair really big. Um, I don't want quite afro, so I'm gonna grab bigger chunks now um, as I'm going here just to, to make them so they're not quite so crazy tight. And if any of you stylists are watching, um, I just retouched my hair with milkshake. Um, I used 40 volume with a, um, it's a 1207, I believe. Um, and another 12, I'll have to look and see what color it was again. I think I have it right here. But um, I've been trying to get away from using bleach and my hair is naturally probably like a level seven. Um, and this has been awesome because I kind of wanted that ombre, that natural, um, grown out look to it but I still want it lighter than than what I am and so yeah I use a 12 um 12.11 and a 12.07 with 40 volume and it's done there for 40 minutes and it looks awesome I'm quite happy with their hair color um, it gives it a lot of shine it's conditioning Okay, so um, now for this top section, what I like to do is I don't like to grab chunks and um, straight lines. I like to kind of grab randomly like a messy part would be. Um, so instead of parting it straight down, I'm just going to start grabbing chunks and just kind of curling every which way. And then I know there's some kind of random pieces in there that I miss along the way. So I just kind of go through and grab those last few stragglers. Okay, <laughs> so you can tell this is a little crazy. Um, it looks a little too childish for me, little Shirley Temple like. Um, so what I like to do at this point is just kind of go through with my fingers and start kind of pulling apart some of these curls. Um, I think if you were to use a brush instead of um, your fingers, you'd probably get quite a big afro. <laughs> it would get very big. Um, so that's why I just kind of finger comb through it real quickly. Now my hair is very fine, so I noticed that um, as I'm starting to pull out these curls, it's getting a little frizzy. So the remedy to fix that is to use um, like an oil, an argon oil, that'll help. And what I also notice is I'm going through, I'm like, oh, there's some pieces that are just laying weird like this one. So I'll just go in and um, recurl those so they look a little nicer. Another thing you can do too to get more body in certain areas, just grab a comb. This is a back brushing comb, um, but you could use any normal comb and just kind of give it a little bit of lift in there. 
Don't do that too much or it will get, um, it will start to get frizzy. So, shape is looking a lot better. Um, it's crazy, it's like an 80s perm almost, isn't it? <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Milkshake Argan Glistening Oil and that's just going to kind of help get rid of some of that frizz. I'll just give it a couple squirts. Alright, so there you have it. And then uh, just to set it, you can use a little bit of hairspray. Um, I wouldn't use a whole lot because if you want some movement to it, you don't want it to be stiff. Um, just a light spray should be good. And there you have it. And the nice thing about this style is um, it should last a couple days and you can go in and you can change it up so easily. I mean, how cute would it be, you know, to pull it back into um, like a little ponytail and pull some forward. You could put a little headband in. You could give yourself kind of like a loose what do they call them? Xingyong? <laughs> I don't ever know how to say that. Um, bun. But I mean, you can play with this style in so many different ways. Um, you can just pull it back with bobby pins and it could be a really pretty up to. So there, it's really versatile. There's a lot of different ways to, to use this iron um, or these curls. But I think it's just something fun if you just want to go for something a little bit unique and different um, than your nice straight hair like me. <laughs> Uh, this is a fun way to do it. But yeah, so there you have it. <laughs>